All right, well, today's video is I'm going to try to flush my heater core because it is cold as shit. Even all the way warmed up, it's like I'm getting no heat inside the cabin. So I'm gonna get onto these two hoses. I gotta go buy some hoses from uh, uh, Lowe's real quick, but I'm gonna disconnect all this stuff right now. Um, and I was just gonna say also, this little ion block rocker. It's an awesome little fucking radio. It gets loud. Watch. Watch right now. I'm barely even moving it. You can hear it. Yeah. No one wants to see an angel in this world these days. I can hear it all the way down the street, but I'm not gonna walk all the way down there, so. But anyways, back to the video. Yeah, first I'm gonna disconnect those two hoses, then I'm gonna go get some hoses, some clear hoses and a, a nozzle so I can push it uh, through with fluid, so. Um, as you can see down here, I have my cardboard and my catch can. Since it's gonna make a mess. And yeah, so let me see if I can put you somewhere where you don't, it doesn't get messy, but you can see. Hold on. Alright, got the first one off. Working on the second one. Yep. Put this away. Can't hold the GoPro. Alright, so got this one off. And this one. Let's see where they go. And right now I'm gonna go to Lowe's and go get the hoses. And the nozzle that I'm gonna need to adjust my um, or to attach my garden hose. Um, I got the idea from Chris Fix. I saw him flush his heater. And I was like, perfect freaking timing because I was realizing that my car is cold as hell. It has really has no heat. So, um, yeah, next thing you'll see is me and Lowe's. So this is what you're going to want. Attach it to the garden hose. The garden hose is going to attach to this clear tube. So you push water through it. So there you go. And this is just showing my, uh, how my headlights do my projector retrofit with 55 watt, 6,000K, 5,000K, 6,000 or something like that. But the point is, uh, retrofitted headlights on the Taurus. It used to be halogen, and um, yeah. So then I put in projectors and HIDs, and it looks legit. Let me see if I can get into a dark road so you can see it. You can 
see the cutoff line right there. Right here you could tell some HIDs in regular reflective housing versus an actual retrofit. All right, now I got this clear hose. Move this uh, old stuff out the way real quick. Stick this hose on. I'm gonna need both hands, so hold on. All right, let's hope it works. Got it all connected. All right, go ahead. And I'm just hoping it really helps, or it looks like it does what the uh, Chris Fix did. All right, you see it pushing. I'm hoping that's why it's freaking horrible freaking heat coming out of it. I mean, just going off of that, like when I opened this up, it was clean or green fluid. So I'm like, shoot, it might not even be this, but after putting fluid or water through it, yeah, I don't know. It might be. Open it up a little bit more. Yeah, so now it was clean. All right, slow down. Stop. Stop. Right. Now I'm gonna go the other way and see if I can get any more out. I'm gonna switch these two lines. I'm gonna switch these two lines and see if I can get any more. All right, so let me just do that real quick. We can lose some any more. All right, ready? All right, go ahead. Open it up more. 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 Keep going. All right. All right. So. The All right, I'm good. All right. Now, I gotta just put some coolant in there. Replace the water that was just in there. And uh, I'll show you how to do that right now. Coolant, to at least get majority, to get majority of it uh, coolant instead of like a water mix. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Connect the wires, or I'm sorry, hoses, and we'll go from there. All right. So after you uh, fill it with coolant, go ahead and put the hoses back, and we'll start it up. And since you probably uh, probably lost some fluid in here. Uh, it's not gonna run it actually. You have to run it through. Pretty much is because it's, uh, it's only when you have the valve open where it's gonna actually throw heat into the car, and then it'll burp the system out of all the air. So then it'll drop the coolant off. So I'll do it in a little bit. Turn the heat on, then top it off tomorrow, and go from there. Um, yeah, let me uh, get everything back together, start it up, let it warm up, and I'll tell you if it's actually a difference. So, 
It didn't help too much, but it did help. So there's no leaking. I don't have a flashlight. I'm just holding the hood up because I don't have my the prop. So um, overall, it was okay. But this is better than what it used to be. So yep, there it is.